Of course, you can always go ahead and uh, you know uh, and uh, mold and you know uh, and shape your your ship here. And uh, by having enabled the uh, proportional flow, you can uh, add some more bulkiness here, perhaps in there. But the general idea is that you can do this. Uh, you can you can either add uh, uh, some bumpiness through a map, map texture that's we are going to which is something we are going to be trying in a future hopefully tutorial. But if you wanted to add this detail uh, using the uh, geometry, I mean actual to add some actual geometry, then this is the way to go. All right. So and of course you can see that uh, well we have some uh, sub edges here but uh, it's not exactly what we're going for and the reason for that is that we will have a slightly different uh, result if we just if we just change the uh, the order of the uh, in the stack here of those modifiers and uh, simply put if you just go ahead and uh, click on this arrow up arrow here and just move your edge split modifier on top before up in the stack before the subsurf modifier, you have a much more uh, crispier, uh, crispier result, a sharp, real sharp edges, which uh, probably is what you are going for. Of course, you can keep the the other. If you like this one better, it's okay. But I will go for this crisp result. So here it is. Uh, here you have it. A nicely uh, shaped. I hope. Uh, interesting, uh, you know, uh, uh, Vikings ho ships hall, and of course, special care should be taken uh, after you have made these changes here uh, in the stack. Uh, about if you had something uh, like torn edges, like those here, so just tap into tap into the mode, and let's try to to see and stitch those edges here it's so easy you just go ahead and select uh, switch over to the uh, you know to the edge select mode disable the uh, you know the uh, the proportional fall off right and just go ahead and and uh, move them until they have snapped together right so you are 100% sure you have no problems whatsoever um, and of course you want to switch over to the uh, to the uh, local perhaps uh, coordinate system so you you are 100 percent sure you have no uh, you know uh, torn off uh, edges whatsoever so let's go ahead and select for example let's say this uh, edge loop here okay and just bring this so until this snap together and with we we check this as well and uh, when we're happy I, I guess we are let's switch over to the orthographic view and where we are okay we just go ahead and all right yeah we can call this a finished result all right so another thing you can do will be to go ahead and just play a little bit by sliding those edges that are uh, you know uh, that are have misaligned all right that are not well lined up and of course you can switch over to the vertex uh, select mode and use the new option we have in blender which is sliding the vertex until you have uh, the result you uh, that will satisfy you and of course uh, you know uh, you can play with this for uh, hours and hours until you get uh, tweaking and uh, you know until you get the result you are probably uh, you know uh, happy with right so yeah I think this is also uh, you that would be very useful to have a, a reference image as well and uh, it's always a good idea to have a reference image if you have one just go ahead and use it we are now trying to model this from scratch and but in general I think it's a rather uh, you know not uh, that bad actually a good 
resolve. All right. So, uh, yeah. So after having, uh, you know, uh, uh, in, uh, make sure we have uh, all the issues uh, solved. All right. You we can call this call this a modeling uh, hull of a Viking ship. Hope you enjoyed it and you learned something from this. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time with a, another uh, hopefully interesting topic, hopefully soon. Until then, uh, have fun and goodbye.